G'day guys, welcome to another tutorial coming to you from Still Life Motion Vid. And I'm just continuing on this little series that I'm making on how to make your Android look and feel like an iPhone. Now these videos are gonna be for those of you with rooted Android phones. And if you don't know what that is, then don't worry, that doesn't mean this video is not for you. Um, it just means that you gotta think about rooting your device, look into that, do a bit of research and decide if it's for you. Um, for some devices, it's, it's easier than others. For this device, it was really hard. So it's up to you whether or not you can be bothered putting in the effort. But basically what I'm gonna show you in this video is the iOS 8 reachability feature for Android. And I'm gonna show you so that when you double tap your home button, it makes it happen. So that's what it looks like. That's what reachability is. The only difference between this and iOS is that it doesn't do the nice smooth animation that it does. So you're gonna need three different apps for this. The first is called Exposed Installer. I'll put the link for that below. And you're gonna need One Hand Mode and Gravity Box. They're both found within Exposed. So once you're in Exposed, jump into the download section and just hit the search button and you can look for them here. So there's Gravity Box and there's one-handed mode. So I've got both of these already and once you've installed them, we'll go from there. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is you wanna jump into one-handed mode and you go into settings for apps and you just wanna make whatever you want, um, however far you want your screen to go down. So just trial and error this. I've made mine 300. I feel like that matches the iOS reachability. Um, but you can make it more, you can make it less. But 300 is probably about as minimum as you want to go. I still find it a little bit hard to reach things every now and then. So, But I don't want to lose all my apps on my screen. So that's why I've made it 300. And you can leave action bar in normal position. I find that to be the most reliable. Hit OK. And what you want to do, what it will do is it will create a toggle for you. Now, because the app's still open, it's just going to open the app. But if I clear the app, like that. Now what it will do, this toggle will act as what it says, a toggle to, um, to make that action happen. So obviously you can, um, what you can do is I've got this thing called lazy swipe and I've put it in my favorites, this toggle, so that I've got quick access to it and you can just leave it there if you want. But you've got a rooted phone, you may as well go the whole hog. So what you can do now is use an app called Gravity Box, which you hopefully have downloaded, jump into that. And then what you can do is come down to navigation keys actions and home key double tap action. Now what I've done is I've just come to custom action, selected that and then it will bring up a list of apps. Mine's already set and then you can select what app you want it to open. So I selected the one hand toggle. Make sure you select the toggle, not the actual one hand app. And so basically now, if I go back to my home screen, you can tap on that and no worries, it's very flawless. It works most, if not all the time, and it also works within apps as well. So if I come into IMDB, double tap, you can see it's brought everything down. It's got this white thing above here. You can double tap to bring it back up. Now, if you had of in accessory, in the one head mode app, if you had of, um, unticked leave action bar in normal position, it would bring down that bar there. But I've found it to be a little bit glitchy with this. So unless they make an update for it and fix that, I, I, I genuinely don't. But other than that, it really does emulate the iOS reachability feature quite well. Um, that's all for this video. I'm gonna create another one that's gonna show you how to get the iOS emojis across your device everywhere, including on Instagram, Facebook, in your SMS app, and more importantly, on your default keyboard app. So stick around, subscribe for that, suggest any tutorials that you have below, and I'll see you in the next video.